In this video, I'll be showing you how you can add these counters to your Notion pages. So here are a couple of example counters that I've set up. So this first one is a water counter. So you can use this to count how much water you've drank throughout the day. And you can use the arrows here to increase or decrease it. And you can click this reset button if you want to reset it at any point. Another example that I've set up is this gym streak tracker, which you can use to count how often you go to the gym. So every time you go to the gym, you can click on this button to increase it. And if you miss a day at any point, you can simply click the reset button to reset it. So these Notion counters are so versatile. There are so many different use cases. And in the rest of the video, I'm gonna be showing you how you can add these to your own Notion pages. And if you're finding the video useful so far, then don't forget to subscribe to the channel as I do upload new Notion tutorials every week. So the counter is actually a widget and you can grab this widget from indify.co. So it's completely free to use this widget, but you will just need to make an account. So head over to this website and make an account. And once you're logged in, you'll come to this page. So you just want to scroll down to the explore widget section and under volume two, you'll find this counter widget. So you just want to hover over it and click on create widget. You then need to give it a name. So let's just call this one counter like this. And then we're gonna click continue. This is then gonna bring us to the widget editor. So you'll see the widget here and then over here in the sidebar is where we can actually customize the widget to our own liking. So the first thing you'll want to do is give it a title. So I would recommend putting in something that is related to what you're counting using the counter. So if this is your gym tracker, you might want to type something like gym streak. And once you've added a title, as you can see, that will now display on the widget itself. Feel free to add emojis in here if you want to customize it even further. So for our gym streak tracker, I think it would be nice to have a emoji in there related to it. So let's maybe go with this emoji here. So this is now what our widget looks like. You can also change the icons here. So these are the icons to increase and decrease the counter. So we currently have it as the plus and the minus buttons, but you can also change this to arrows if you prefer, which looks like this. So it's completely up to you which version you prefer. I think I'm gonna stick with the arrows. And if I just scroll down, there are a few more customization options here. So first you can choose to either have the text centered or not. So this is what it looks like with it not centered. I think it looks better centered. So I'm just gonna leave that on. And you can also play around with the colors of the text here. So there are different options here for whether you use light mode or dark mode. So just as an example, let's change the text color here to purple. And that would look like this. I think for this example, I'm gonna keep it as black, but feel free to play around with the colors as much as you like. You can also add a background color to the entire widget. So if you just toggle on this set background color, it will allow you to add a background color here. So let's, for example, just make it this pale green color, which looks like this. It's completely up to you how you want to style it. You can also set the button style to light or dark. So it's these little buttons here. So they're currently set to light, but if I change it to dark, it's quite subtle, but they are a bit darker. I think they stand out a little bit more on dark. So I'm gonna leave it as that. And finally, you can either decide to show the hover menu or not. So this means that when this widget is actually embedded in your Notion page, when you hover over it, a little menu will appear for customization. So it's completely up to you if you want that to display or not. I'm gonna leave it on for now. And once you're happy with the look of your widget, you simply just want to click on this button here and that is gonna copy the link to the widget to your clipboard. And then let's head back over to Notion. So back in Notion, all I'm gonna do is simply just paste in that link and then you want to click create embed. And that is then gonna bring up your widget on the page. So it does bring it up quite big to begin with, but you can then use these bars on the side to bring it in. So I'll just drag this in from the side and as well from the bottom. So it looks like this. So you can place this absolutely anywhere in your Notion pages. You can place it within columns, within a sidebar, anything you like, and it's now interactive. So if you start clicking on it, it will work directly on the page. And remember, you can click the reset button at any point to reset it back to zero. And that's it. If you want to be even more productive, then make sure you check out my Second Brain template, which is an advanced productivity system. It has tons of five-star reviews from people that have used it. You can grab this template over on my store. I'll leave a link in the description box below. And if you did find the video useful, then make sure to give the video a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel as I do upload new Notion tutorials like this one every single week.